So this morning my daughter decides to let me know that Taylor Swift is a psychopath after listening to Blank Spaces? Yeah. Okay, Blank so spaces. Blank Space. Oh, it's blank. Okay. So <laughs> tell oh, me, gosh. tell me why. Um microphone. People have this love-hate relationship with with their weight and, and I get it you know when you go to school and you've, you've got your grades and you you work hard and Bueller Bueller your grades kind of measure that so you figure you know if you're gonna try to lose weight that your scale is that way to measure your results and that's not necessarily the case and I found a couple of uh, secrets that I think you'll enjoy so one of the first mistakes that people make when they get on the scale is they're not consistent. I recommend doing it first thing in the morning. Okay, so let's pretend this sponge was me. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? So the more that I would exercise and the more that I would eat right, uh, I would bring down my carbohydrates, this is what would happen to my body, is I would lose dramatically all of this water weight and I'm going to tell you how that is possible in just a second. Most people uh, lose their weight initially is all of that water weight. So again, this is me today without all that water weight. And I'm going to show you what's going to happen when I'm not careful. By the way, that mark right here in the sink, uh, yeah, that's what happens when you're not careful. That's my fault. Thanks, honey, for being understanding. So I got my scale zeroed out. By the way, this is a, uh, a, a really cheap model. I'll have to look and see exactly how much this scale was. I got it off Amazon, extremely cheap. I've had it for a couple of years. So Salter, wherever you're at, um, just want to throw a quick plug. You, you make a great food scale. So here is, uh, here's me again. That's 24, 25 grams of pure sponge. Pure sponge. So let's say that's you, that's me. Happy little guy. And I'm going along the day and oh, pretzel, I got to eat it. Yum, 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 yum. And then I see another pretzel. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. And I keep doing that and I keep doing that. And uh, I eat whatever food, but especially carbohydrates. And here's what's going to happen it's the same thing. Let's say I eat this little guy. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, now for every pretzel I eat, I'm going to attract water. And so here's what happens when we have meals, especially high in carbohydrates. It's like we're taking a bath in carbohydrates. Now I've had my high carbohydrate meal and I go to bed and the next morning I step on the scale and guess what's gonna happen? And I weigh, holy cow, I weigh 89 grams. Well, wait a second. I'm the same shape. I don't look any different. But how is it that I weigh 89 grams? How is that possible? For every carbohydrate that we eat, we're going to attract two to three molecules or components of water, right? So one pretzel equals almost the weight of, let's say, four pretzels uh, for simplification, okay? So now, if I step on the scale tomorrow morning, what I'm gonna see on that scale is not gonna be a horrible scale here, but what I'm gonna see on that scale is not gonna be my actual weight. What I'm going to see is my normal weight plus all of that water that came from last night's high carb meal. So the secret to hacking your scale is to really try to dial in on your carbohydrates and or exercise because if we exercise, we're gonna burn off our glycogen, which is our stored carbohydrates. It's gonna burn that off. And then what we're gonna actually end up getting closer to is our real weight. Being careful about the number of carbs that you have. Okay, that's one. Now, the other enemy 
to your weight, especially on the scale, it's going to be alcohol. And here's why. Alcohol, typically, when you think about mixed drinks and you think about beer, this has a lot of sugar from your mixers. And beer obviously has high carbohydrates from the grains and such that are put in there. Those are both high carb um, areas which are gonna have an impact on your weight. When your body drinks alcohol, your, your body naturally knows that alcohol is a toxin. It's gonna do everything it can to metabolize that alcohol and get it out of the system. And guess what happens? When you drink alcohol and when you drink carbohydrates, your body says, whoa, hang on a second. I don't have time to metabolize you just yet. I'm busy metabolizing this alcohol and get into the system. So guess what happens to the carbohydrates? Many times those carbohydrates are gonna go into storage. And guess where they're going to go into storage as? they're going to be converted into fat. Mass amounts of alcohol with carbohydrates and the body is busy metabolizing the alcohol and the carbohydrates turn into fats which makes your scale go up. A quick word about body fat. There's a lot of different ways that you can measure your body fat. Now the problem with measuring body fat is it's very uh, subjective. I would recommend either using um, a bod pod, using calipers. At the end of the day, it's not important what your body weighs, but what you can do with it. Oh yeah! Yum, 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 yum,